It's very delicious, like surprisingly good. And it's also really simple. Gay chokes, Jerusalem artichokes, sunchokes. They're not artichokes and they're not from Jerusalem. Natural habitat is the northeast of North America, the Canadian Maritimes, parts of New England, Quebec. They're related to sunflowers, so they look like a sunflower uh, in the summer. They're really tall and they're a big yellow flower. They're easy to grow, but what do you do with them? The simplest recipe I have is to just make a Jerusalem artichoke puree. Just a couple of ingredients, the artichoke, Jerusalem artichoke, some heavy cream or whipping cream, and some salt. The first step is to clean up the Jerusalem artichokes. These came out quite dirty. You can leave the skins on, but you want to make sure that you clean out any dirty little crevices or anything like that. But you can just use the back side of a knife and just scrape them if you want. This is very simple. It's coming pretty clean. And the other thing you can do is you can you can use a, a peeler. Now they have lots of lumps and tubers on them. There are different varieties that are less lumpy. But we'll just clean these up very simply. I'm not too worried about it because... Even if I leave a little bit of the skin on there, I'm going to uh, still get a white puree. If I wanted to make this another color because it's white, I could add carrots and have an orange colored puree, or I could add beets and have a pink colored puree, or I could say add parsley and have a green puree. So this is like kind of a base and you can build the colors off of this puree. I've cleaned up my artichokes. They look like little potatoes now. Uh, I rinsed them off again, good. It's okay to have some of this skin on there. That's not an issue. Uh, but what you don't want is any grit. So you want to make sure you clean out any of these crevices really well so that because nobody wants sand in their puree. So next I'm just going to cut these. And I'm going to just slice them fairly thin. And they're, you know, thicker than a potato chip. But... They're pretty thin, and these are just going to go into the pot. This one has some red in the middle of it. That's okay. So we're all sliced up, and in the pot we go. The next step is we're going to add our cream to just cover, and now we'll turn our burner on, and we're going to cook this really low. Uh, so what we want to do is we're just going to cook it until the Jerusalem artichokes are soft, which shouldn't take too long. They break down fairly quickly. But we're cooking them purely in cream, so we don't want to scorch the cream. Cream has a good tolerance to heat, but you don't want to do a roiling boil. You'll thicken the cream, and they'll start to burn at the bottom. We're going to put a cover on this and just simmer it. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to come back. I'm going to stir. We've been simmering for a while, and if I look... Here, I'll pull one out and I'll just take a spoon here and I can see that this easily breaks. So we're definitely cooked as much as we need to be cooked. Next, we're gonna put them into our blender. Just gonna pour them all right in there. We've got our blender here. The chokes are in there. I'm gonna add salt. That's about a tablespoon of salt. You can add more. Uh, to taste. You could also add different herbs and spices in here if you so desire. Now I'm just going to turn this on. Turn it up. We have some J-choke puree here, and this is pretty loose. Uh, if you needed to thicken it up, you could add more Jerusalem artichokes. If you didn't have them, you could add a potato or some potato flakes or some other sort of starchy thing. This technique works with any non-starchy vegetable like parsnips, carrots, uh, turnips, J-chokes. Just for fun, I have some carrots here and I want to make this a different color. It's white, but I was thinking maybe it'd be cool if it was a bit orange. So I'm just going to add some cooked carrots into here, and this is going to also thicken it up a bit. And let's see what sort of color we get when we do this. It should be probably just slightly, slightly orange. Look at that. 
beautiful. It's really nice and velvety smooth. I pureed it for quite a while. I had to fight with my machine, but this is just, you know, gorgeous. I really like this color. It tastes totally fantastic. 